Okay, so I think I came up with a solution to this problem. Uh, the problem is, uh, and it was submitted by Francisco from the Renton Technical College, and he's trying to get uh, some fillets in on this model before he does a uh, shell feature on it. So uh, the difficulty was he, he managed to get uh, some fillets on the bottom, a uh, fillet on the side over here, and he's trying to get a fillet over here before he does the shell feature. When you do the shell feature, and what advantage you're doing this uh, shell feature, after your fillets, is it uh, propagates those fillets on the inside of the uh, inside of the shell, as well as maintaining them on the outside, and those fillets become uh, concentric, which is what you want. You want it uh, nice and round. It'll be a shallower radius on the inside, a much broader on, or uh, it'll be a much shallower radius on the outside, and uh, much broader on the inside. But you want those concentric in order for that, uh, you know, so you can have a consistent wall thickness as you go through that fillet. So the difficulty is putting in that fillet on this edge over here. So let's try that. We uh, went through that in a previous video a little bit and showed you that it failed. But if you click on any of these edges over here, perhaps this edge, and you do the tangent propagation and the full, pre full preview, you should be able to see that go all, going all the way around. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. But let me show you a drop or a pullout uh, menu that uh, that is over here. And what we're using is SOLIDWORKS 2013. I think it's the same in 2014. But the menus change. It used to be that it used to have a uh, kind of a white menu with some pink icons and uh, some models that you could choose from here. But it's a little bit more graphically represented and a lot more condensed here than it was before. So here are your options. You have a right loop. We've always had that right loop before. But we have a couple uh, additional options over here. And it's a little bit better graphically represented over here too with icons instead of wording and uh, the menu is a little bit smaller too. So we could choose the right loop. I'm not going to try to guess how what defines that right loop. What we're looking at is the back of the model, so maybe the loop propagates clockwise. If you use the right hand rule, it kind of defines what might be on the left hand or right hand side of this. But if you click on that again, if I uh, click on that once, it selects it. If I click it on a second time, it deselects it. We have those choices. We have the right loop connected to the start face. Uh, so I'm anticipating that this is probably the start face here, whatever might be connected to that, uh, it'll show you those corners. And it shows you uh, the kind of a preview in the magenta color of uh, what it's going to be selecting, connected to the end face. Then you have the right feature, which is actually in front of uh, that edge. Then the left feature, which is in the back of that edge. Then you have all 35 edges, so it selects all the, this is a new feature that I haven't seen before, but it selects all 35 edges that have not been, um, you know, influenced by a fillet yet. And then the last feature over here is all the concave edges. It doesn't choose any of the concave edges over here, but it does over here uh, uh, in the back of the model. So the one I found that works and uh, is the right loop. So it selects everything there, and it gives you the, the visual representation of it. It gives you the preview. Go over here to the green check mark. We'll scroll that down or pull our uh, rollback bar down to so it incorporates that shell. And it incorporates that on the inside. And if we pull that all the way down, it puts in all the additional features. No errors. So we're in pretty good shape there. So that's the solution. It's probably not the only solution. We'll present this at the meeting and make this model available before the meeting. Again, this model will be available on the website at Yaswug. Uh, w -S -W -U, or y -S -W -U -G. If you Google, Google that, you'll see our website. It should come up at, at the, you know, the very top of the list. Uh, go to our website and uh, download the model and see what you come up with, present it at the meeting, and we'll go from there.